All right, and we're back. Hey, welcome back to Life is Strange with Instant Hero. Hey, last time you remember we were shooting some bottles, dumped a car over, broke a bunch of bottles. Um, don't forget, like and subscribe below. Leave me comments in the feedback section. Let me know how I'm doing. And you know what? Positive, negative, doesn't really matter. As long as we're getting some feedback and give me a way forward on how uh, how this game is going and, and what other games you guys really want to see me play. So, uh back to it our last uh, episode we need to talk to chloe who is brandishing a firearm in a very very unsafe manner okay coffee looks like you're ready to lock and load i don't know about this are you afraid of getting in trouble oh boohoo max is afraid i know you can handle this and i'm here to guide you Make me proud, sister. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now, That's and I- That's Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't! You stole that shit! Give it to me right now, asshole! You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please. Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Oh, I'm gonna shoot the crap out of you, guy. That is hilarious. Oh, man. I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me. And you'll wish I had no memory, because I never forget. Oh yeah, making enemies. I'm all about making enemies. You have until Friday to pay me. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. Why were there no bullets in that Try gun? Try bullets next time, brainiacs. Man, should I rewind that? Sorry. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. You are just nothing but trouble, actually. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. And Jesus, lies the I almost shot this guy. And now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe and me. Where am I going? Am I going out? Oh, I'm going out this way. Chloe's waiting. Wow, sir. Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? We need to talk about this later, but I better follow Chloe now. Alright, we're leaving the junkyard. And away we go. Cutscene. So what do you think of the game so far? I mean, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I still can't believe you pulled a gun on Frank. That was epic. It felt awful. I'm glad there was no bullets in there. You can just rewind time in your hand and stick that barrel right up Frank's ass. You have the power! You're gross. Don't fall. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Finally, some answers. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? I'm still freaked out about what happened. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry. But Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, did you see what just happened? I almost shot him. I know I could rewind, but Chloe... 
This is not playtime. No more guns. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's Seems going like on with your name, Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers. Obviously don't get my pot from you, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Is this your bad boy phase? No, it's my trying to scrounge some quick cash so Rachel and I could get the hell out of here phase. Frank had quick cash, that's all. That's it? No, I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? I think my brain is fried. I don't know anymore. My brain is so fried from all of this. I need a mental enema. And that oh, it's so just weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had, has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Pending doom, the thought of getting Kerouac run over. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at night. Look at the beat poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Perfect. Ugh. Oh, back to the storm. Back to the storm. the boot off. Oh, and here comes noise? the train. The train? Oh, shit. <laughs> Max, you can't just yank Chloe out like a superhero. Move! Get me out of here, Max! Awesome, it's not locked. Please, get me out of here! I better find a tool to cut those wires. I can't even move it an inch. The train's coming! Man, All right, I got please. it. I'm trying to find the stinking thing. I can't budget at all. Please. Damn, something is blocking the drum. Please. I'm going to need a whole lot of time on this. This is a complex issue. This wedge locks the drum in place. Max! I can definitely use this bad boy.
Now I can finally move the drum. Max, get me out of here! <gasps> to help lift Chloe up. Come on, now move. I can finally move the drum. Move your ass. I have to help lift Chloe up. I got splinters in my ass and leg, so I wish there was a less violent way for you to save me. And now the trains can't get to the lumber mill. Oops. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Forever. And cutscene. And I'm back at school. Look at that. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing Wait. exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? Uh. Uh, it means shit happens, right? No, crazy shit happens. Because it can and will. Simplify, me? but it makes sense. I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. Oh, high five, fist bumps, bobbleheads. Blue hair. And I'm back at school. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. I should get a, ro uh, a raincoat or something. So. Alright. Enter the Vortex Club. This October. Rocktober. I have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. Let's wander, but let's not talk to the principal. I don't like that guy. Here, creep, creep, creep. So are you going to that Vortex Club party? Like I would miss it. I have the sweetest outfit. I wouldn't want to be at an end of the world party with Nathan Prescott. No doubt. Too much truth in advertising. It's the invasion of the Vortex Club. Those guys, those guys in their vortexes. Wait, tornado, vortex, vortex club. Oh, all right, we'll do Sir? it. Sir? Ah, hello, Max. Would you like to tell me what you wouldn't yesterday? There was just a lot going on with the fire alarm and everything. Yes, but you were distracted by something else. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. 
Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. Mr. Madsen already treats everybody here like they're under surveillance. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. You won't tell me the truth about yesterday, but you want to tell me the truth about Mr. Madsen. It sounds more like sour grapes. Well, this Excuse guy. me now. This guy. Oh, look, it's the banner. These are the assholes throw a lot of big parties. Yep. Another yeah. chance for Nathan Prescott to dose somebody. Yeah. Get his dosage on. Join us or, or die. die. <laughs> hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. <laughs> I, I really don't. I do. Why I'm not, not anti-soiree. You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Oh, I don't even like her. Hello, climate change. Oh, these crazy bitches. I don't want to talk to you. Trevor surveys his domain. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? Do you mind if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe? You hit Chloe. I'm sure she told you why. Did she mention she probably stole one of my guns? You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless she you knows. know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Man, David might actually be developing. Nope, don't care about I that guy. I saw Victoria and her friends shopping for the party. Reminds me. Oh, Gloria Gloria and her friends shopping for the party. Oh. Yes, this poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. Yep. Let's open our locker. Why are we looking at these photos? Why do we open that? Hey, Evan. Yo, Maxwell Smart. Talk later, cool? Yeah, why not? What do you mean, so you can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Oh, sure. You got I look me. worried. Is everything okay? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max, oh. I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? 
Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. Rachel was nothing like Kate. And Principal Wells said you had something on your mind you wouldn't tell him. Oh, you care to share? Not now. Not right now. I'll tell you everything as soon as I figure it out. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Oh, Listen, I'm the drama queen. Should I? Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Yes. But this class over here looks way more fun. Who's in here that I can talk to? Hey, Brooke. Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? How was your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. This can't be that hard. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. All right. Hey, and before we go over here and talk to Warren, I'm going to call it a day. Look, <clears throat> thanks for following along. If you're following along, make sure to leave comments and uh, like and subscribe if you enjoy the videos. Um, give me some feedback. Let me know how I'm doing. Uh, anything you'd like me to see. Uh, maybe a little bit less scratching of the nose as my nose is really itchy this week. Uh, and as always, keep your head down, watch your six, and return fire. And we'll see you next time.